Okay, so this video is basically just storage for clamps, cramps. Um, most of mine are, are, are G cramps, but I've got quite a few varying sizes and F and um, sash and you know, various ones, but I'm interested um, today in storing these. So what I'm gonna do is I've had a little scratch around through um, my stash. This piece here is actually the off cut from the top, which Instead, it is the same width as the legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip these down about an inch and a half, um, maybe two inches wide, and put a batten across so that I can hook the clamps over um, from either side so that they either fall in or can be taken out on uh, two battens to hold these, the smaller ones, um, and they're recessed inside and they don't protrude too far out there. Yeah. And if you've got studs, I did this in, in an old workshop, just between studs and a wall, you can just put two battens, no need for any fancy French cleats or notches in the, the, the battens or anything, just two straight battens going across. So I'll cut those up and stick them on and you'll see what I mean. So the weight's taken on both the bands, not just the top part, for the larger ones at least, um, or more or less, if it does sag. There you go, probably the cheapest, quickest and simplest clamp storage um, around. Two battens and hang your clamps from them. I haven't even bothered to notch the, um, the battens out. and I, I don't bother doing that because A, it's some um, time, but also I can squash them all together. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe if you have and comment um, as well. If you've only seen the, uh, this clamp video, then don't forget you can also see how I built this table saw stand it's a very similar method to how I built the, um, the workbench as well so uh, feel free to go and check those out in the playlist. Till then I'll see you again next time.